Happy Valentine's Day. Am I making a fancy dinner? Let's see. Oh, hell no. Okay, so we're going to make little Valentine's Day mice. I hate any kind of rodent. You want to think this is cute. They're not cute, but they look pretty easy. But I don't understand the cute saying that would go with them. Like an olive is like olive you. What does a mouse say? How does that go with Valentine's Day? Oh, I guess they're made with kisses. I get it. Kiss, see? Yeah, so everyone makes their Valentine's now. That is ridiculous. I don't know who started it. Probably Martha Stewart or somebody. First of all, when I was little, it was just a card. folded in half with your name on it. Now, they don't have time for that. Now it's just, don't put anyone's name on it, just sign the name. And you better have candy attached to it or your friends are not gonna be happy, according to my kids. So now people probably spend $30 on Valentine's for one kid per class. I'm still a $5 and under kind of lady here. Sorry, my kid's friends. I might attach candy to it, but it's still gonna be a card from the dollar store. So I assume we're supposed to make these and then put them with a Valentine. Now let's talk about the teacher gift. Is this necessary? Does the teacher really want a wreath made of candy? No, she wants a bottle of wine. Of all the crafts that we could have chosen, these are doable. I like doable. Got our kisses. You put two of these together, you glue them, and that makes the mouse body. That I'm okay with. It's when we get to all these little details that are unnecessary. That's when I start to get worked up. You gotta make ears, eyes, nose, and tail. Because I promise all those kids are gonna pay special attention to these little details. They're just gonna rip open the candy to get to the chocolate. So do you think that you would be making these or your kids? Oh, the moms are totally making these because it started when my kids were in like nursery school. Those one-year-olds don't know how to do this. So when the moms send these elaborate bags home that have a cute theme and all I did was send their kid a lollipop, I felt so down on myself. Then it just got worse and worse and worse. I'm gonna make six. We're gonna pretend we're in the nursery school where they only have six kids in the class. In my kids' class, there's, you know, like 13 or 16 or something. But if you have to make it for the entire fifth grade or the entire whatever grade, you're screwed. You better have gone to the dollar store. I think the tail part is a little excessive. You could have just used the end of the Hershey Kiss because that would save you on one more thing you have to buy for this craft. We had to buy the Hershey Kisses, string, wiggly eyes. So let's see, we're up to about three, six, ten dollars. That's not terrible. I would have the paper. Maybe that would be the only thing I didn't have to buy. Who's going to cut out all these little circles for the ears. If we did this, I would then just get plain like construction paper and cut little squares out and my kid would write to Amy from Stella, period. I'm not then going to go buy the box of Valentine's. I wouldn't choose the, the mouse. I still wouldn't choose the mouse. I need it to speak more Valentine's Day right off the get-go. I'd have to be thinking, what does mouse mean? My kids would be like, mom, that's all they're going to get? One little mouse? You know, so I would probably choose a craft it's a little bigger, so it looks like, you know, if we're gonna do this, let's impress everybody. My kids come home with like a bag full of bags of Valentine treats. And it's Valentine's Day. This is not Halloween, people. Oh, yeah, yeah. This glue is so stringy. Okay, I forgot to put the ears in. I should have done that. They're so little. Too little for my hands. Why would you do this? Unless your kid was named like Minnie or something. Then it would make sense. Okay, I'm trying to think of a good Mouse saying. It's nice to be your friend. Ah, oh, that's a good one. It's so nice to meet you. I don't think these are going to stand up as cute as they do on this little picture. <sighs> one down, 50 to go. Whew. Yeah, my kids would get bored probably after a couple minutes. So then I would be up late the night before Valentine's doing this. Everything seems to be like a competition of who can be the fanciest, who brings the best treats. And then every holiday loses its meaning. Valentine's has become like Christmas morning all over again. Kids get all this stuff. And who brought it? Cupid? I'm trying to decide if my kids' friends would figure out that this is a mouse. Did you put the nose on the last one? Oh, no, that's what's missing. It just took me, what, five minutes to make two? And I'm in nursery school class? Imagine if I was in the elementary school. Ain't nobody got time for that. Maybe I won't make six. Okay, the hot glue is annoying enough. We're gonna have to come up with something else. Tell me one person who thinks a mouse is not a rat. Minnie Mouse looks nothing like a mouse. I know a lot of people that would have done this like when their kids are in their first year of school 
And then as each year goes by, you do less and less because they finally get it. Oh, everybody's just so extra. I hadn't even gotten to the teacher yet. I'm over it. Moving on. Do you want to glue them on their little uh, pre-made cards? Oh my gosh, no. No, this is the way it would be. That now doesn't match this. So you'd have to get like Minnie Mouse Valentine's or if you want to see what I'd really do, you write your name on it. That's all I would do. I might take these back to the store, get my money back. Now, the Valentine's candy wreath. Oh, uh, that poor teacher. Curl some ribbon, snip it in sections, and pin them all over the wreath. I don't know why you just wouldn't glue the ribbon. Or I would just tie the ribbon. Let's tie the ribbon. Take the pins back. I would never do this in real life. See, the ribbon's probably about a dollar. This is probably about a dollar. And this is like five dollars. So again, we're close to ten dollars for the teacher gift. Now, teachers, would you rather have this? or a $5 gift card from Starbucks. Okay, let's get to gluing. So extra. I think tying the ribbon was a good idea. Oh, this is dumb. See, my kids would want to do this for their teachers, and then they wouldn't believe me when I would say, listen, I promise you, they don't want that. Although, you know one of my kids' teachers is getting this when I leave here. Oh, that Nicole, how did she have time to do this? More glue. Are you feeling really creative? Not sure creative is the word, although I'm feeling kind of proud. Mine's pretty cute. Here's a tip. If you use these little smaller candies, they fill in the white spaces. You didn't think I knew how to do that. It's coming, it's coming. Okay, the big ribbon on the top. If I was a teacher, I'd probably be annoyed at parents who did things like this. I would feel like they're trying to suck up to me. This is why you buy a pre-made bow. I can do this. Almost. Laura, why am I spending so much time on this? Again, <laughs> teachers, you know you want this. I did pretty damn good. Feeling a little bit accomplished. Overall, Valentine's Day has become overplayed. The expectations on moms and parents are just too high. The teachers are not expecting this, so that's good because they're not gonna get it. I guess there's gonna be one lucky teacher and one lucky kid. Now, if one of my kids' teachers genuinely would rather have this than a Starbucks gift card, let me know and I will make you one and every other teacher at the school one. Until then, happy Valentine's Day.